Hi there, Jamie here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today, I want to show you how you can break your worksheet into separate pages for printing in Microsoft Excel so that it looks much better if you're printing some reports out. So what I mean by this is automatically, you can see this dotted blue line here that Microsoft Excel adds to your worksheet where the page break would be. But I'm just going to go ahead one step here and you can see you can set them up so you could have separate pages. So when you go ahead and print your uh, information, you can have it on separate pages and go through like this. Now, this is very quick to do, and that's what I want to show you on Teachers Tech today. So if you want to follow along with today with what I'm doing on the same worksheet that I'm using, I'll put a link down below uh, and then you can just go over to a file, make a copy of it, download it and follow along with what I'm doing. Uh, so, but first of all, I just want to go to print and I want to see what this would look like if I was just printing. I've reset all my page breaks. I don't have any in here. If I go up to file and print here, you can see that uh, some of this right here is being added to this page. If I go to the next page, uh, things are cut off. I don't have the uh, the companies here showing. So that I wouldn't want to be giving this, uh, printing it out and ha handing it to people to take a look at. So what I wanted to do is adjust the page rate. As soon as I went to print, I want to point out it uh, showed you where the automatic page break that Excel added by this gray uh, dotted line that goes down here. It kind of shows me the area. Now, what I like to do though, is actually uh, go to my page break view and I'm gonna go up to the, uh, up to here into the tab. And if you look into the ribbon, we have page break preview right here. So with this, this kind of gives you uh, this, uh, this dotted blue line where Excel automatically adds it. Now, the first thing that you can do if you wanna add page breaks or sorry, adjust page breaks in Microsoft Excel, you can just click this line and hold it. So if I press my mouse down, click and hold, I can move it. So I can move it over uh, and maybe now I hit it up page one, page two, just like this. And anytime there's this blue, you can see I can drag it up and it will change what the page breaks will be uh, from the top to the sides on it. So you can click and drag. Now I'm gonna reset these page breaks and to do this, and it's gonna be the same place where we're gonna add our page breaks, but if we go to our page layout uh, tab up here, take a look at breaks and just drop down. I'm gonna reset these all right here. So I'm gonna just reset like so. And you can see it's back to the way it started. So that remember that if you ever wanna clear your page breaks. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna add a page break and I'm gonna go into a spot where I might want uh, to be uh, adding it and then it's gonna be uh, connected to that cell where it starts. So if I click, let's say, uh, I'm gonna put this spot right here. I'm gonna click this cell and if I go up to breaks and I go to insert page like this, you can see where it placed uh, the different page breaks. So everything is even. I can still drag these. So if it wasn't what you wanted, you can drag these around like this. But at this point here, I can go to my file print now and go through and you'd be able to see that each one is on its own page, just like this. So it's a quick way to add page breaks, to make your uh, worksheets, to break it into printing sections that can be a lot easier to digest on it. So give it a try to see with the page breaks and remember you can reset all your page, uh, you can remove page breaks or reset all page breaks from here, or I could even add more than if you needed to add more. If I click on a different spot, if I click down here and if I go back to it and go insert page break you can see it keeps on adding more pages to it. So that's just a little lesson in adding page breaks so you can break up your worksheets into different printing areas uh, just so it's easier for people to go through. So I hope you liked this little tip in Microsoft Excel with the page breaks. Let me know what you think. Stay tuned for more tech tips and tutorials next week on Teachers Tech.